I'm Jessica Lambert with Webology in Birmingham, Alabama, and today we're going to be talking about why content is king. Back in the day, all someone had to do to get traffic to their site was to stuff their website full of keywords. In fact, it didn't matter if it was even relevant. The important thing was the quantity of traffic, not how long they were sticking around or coming back. Today, computers are smart. Keyword stuffing makes your site look spammy, and you can end up with a Google penalty, which comes with it a lot of missed opportunities and issues that can take years to reverse. But what counts as quality content? You know that feeling when you visit a website and the content is full of misspellings, grammar issues, and faux facts? It's frustrating. When people visit your site and are met with bad content, they automatically assume you don't know what you're talking about. And do we blame them? Nobody wants to visit a site where the content is hard to read or to understand. So what counts as quality content that will drive people to your site? Quality content starts with truth, and it ends with a grammar and a spelling check. Good quality content is all about having an open mind to learning something new and a post free of the awful chains of keyword stuffing. The people visiting your site should walk away with knowledge and truth. You do want a low bounce rate, right? It's very important to remember that part of the adventure of writing content for SEO is making sure you're updating your site frequently enough. A blog can be an excellent way to attract viewers to your site and engage them. SEO moves and changes quickly. What worked a week ago may be completely out of the question today. It's your job to find a way to write your articles in such a way that they appeal to the search engine and your readers. Remember also that if you end up with a spare moment in a couple of weeks, carve out time for updating and improving older SEO content on your website. If your old content has spelling errors and grammatical issues, make them right. But how often should I update my site, you might be asking? Excellent question. The answer really depends on what kind of website you manage. Some say once a week is often enough. Some say twice a week. If you're a larger brand, updating it once a day is a good option. However, don't add 10 articles all at once and then go two weeks without posting. This will absolutely not get you anywhere. That brings us to this next question. What is RankBrain and how does it change content writing? RankBrain is a game changer for content writers. This advanced AI is modeled after the program that allows Google AdWords to detect related phrases. But what does this mean? Now Google can accurately display related words and phrases in the search results instead of mostly serving up exact matches. And the best part, now that you know, you can stand out in the era of RankBrain. Content by itself is vital to the life of SEO. If you're wanting to write good content that also ranks well in Google, you'll have to learn to target keyword phrases. Always remember, though, it's the content that keeps visitors coming back and enjoying your site, not keyword stuffed crap. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time at Webology SEO in Birmingham, Alabama.